Long story short, EA games run on Linux, which means they also run on Steam Deck as well. Except for Apex Legends, but that could easily be patched in the future, and hopefully should be. Why use Origin instead of Steam? Well, what if I don't want to buy a copy on Steam? And I'm not buying a second copy of a game on Steam? This is Origin on Steam Deck. As you all may have guessed, Origin doesn't have a Linux client, nor does it have a really good third-party Linux client, like say Epic Games. It's times like these where we turn to our good friend Lutris. So what the heck is Lutris? Lutris is a free and open source game manager for Linux-based OSs. It's maintained by the Linux community, and it has one-click installation for many games available on its website. If you're looking to install games yourself without Lutris, you're gonna have a hard time. Lutris takes out nearly all of the pain of installing Windows-only games on Linux. If you don't have it and you're on Linux, I would highly suggest you get it. It's practically a requirement these days. If you've been paying attention to the video, you'll notice that Lutris has been nearly a very easy install process. You basically double-click it, you follow the prompts, it downloads Origin and installs Origin for you, and then you're off to the races. Do keep in mind that Origin on Linux unfortunately requires a few dependencies outside of this, so it's not quite a one-step install. This will require you to open the command line, unfortunately. Link on what dependencies will be in the description below, so please check it out. After that though, you might be wondering how do I launch Origin? How do I actually install games because no one uses Origin for Origin, right? Yeah, running a launcher through a what's basically a launcher, it's kind of stupid, but like what can you expect, right? So you launch the launcher through the launcher and then you log on to Origin, the launcher, and then you install your game so that you can launch your game. Wow, that's a lot of launching. You'd think that I'd be launched to the moon eventually. So the dependencies don't stop you from installing Origin, it stops you from being able to play the games themselves. So I was dumb and I forgot to do this. So this footage is actually sped up 500 times, and depending on your internet connectivity, this might take a while. Also, depending on how powerful your computer is, this could also take a while too, and this laptop is not that powerful. I find it odd that Lutris's documentation mentions these dependencies but doesn't like automatically install them for you. As you can see here, Origin works just fine. After a little bit of loading that is. Now time to play some Peggle, which I installed already so it's gonna launch. Honestly currently that's the only game on Origin I really want to play right now. It looks kind of choppy but I guarantee you this runs at 60 FPS. Well yeah, everyone knows Peggle's gonna work. Peggle's not really a complex game, but what about a more complex game like, you know, Titanfall 2 or perhaps even... I don't know, Jedi Fallen Order? Well, I mean, if you've seen the Steam Deck footage, they heavily advertise Jedi Fallen Order working on the Steam Deck, so there's no doubt about that it works on Linux as well. As for Titanfall 2, well, I'm not going to try running that on my laptop because my laptop wouldn't be powerful enough to run it even on Windows, so. That said, there are plenty of YouTubers that showcase, you know, higher-end games on Origin running. All in all, I've done my part in raising awareness on how easy it is for these games to run on Linux and Steam Deck. Because at the end of the day, Steam Deck is just a Linux PC. But don't tell your, like, anti-Linux friends because, honestly, they're gonna freak out. Of course, SteamOS 3.0 is different from Arch Linux despite being based on it due to, you know, Valve's backing it and Valve's expertise. There's no telling what sort of differences Valve will make in terms of dependencies. 
I have a sinking suspicion that Valve might include these, like, dependencies. Worst comes to worst, Valve doesn't change much. You'll have to go into the command prompt again and install those dependencies, and then install Lutris. That'll be all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Share with your friends.